Hi, this is Mr. Evans. Uh, this is the final video looking at a different method of uh, calculating and interpreting, analysing human perform uh, resource performance. So we've gone through uh, each of these bullet points. Uh, this is the final video on labour cost per unit. So labour cost per unit is the average amount an organisation spends on labour per unit of output produced over a period of time. So um, in other words, um, you, what you do is you work out your total labour costs and you divide that by total output and what that tells you is how uh, much each uh, unit costs you on average in terms of labour to produce. So um, how do we interpret that? Well, there's a clear link to uh, labour productivity. The more uh, each member of staff is doing in an hour, the more units that they're producing in an hour, the more efficient they're being, the lower the average cost of producing each unit will be, um, presuming that you are paying them uh, by the hour rather than per unit. Um, if the same number of staff can produce more units, the, uh, the labour cost uh, per unit will fall. Alternatively, if you can if you get rid of some staff and manage to retain your output levels, um, you know you're, you're spending less on labour and um, and still uh, making the same amount. You know that will mean uh, the cost per unit has fallen. Um, so important um, measure for businesses because you know the uh, the less the business is spending on labour cost per unit, the higher the um, contribution that, that selling that unit makes to uh, paying off other costs and making profit. If you can um, cut the uh, cost per unit, you can make higher profit margin or you can cut the selling price, retain the same profit margin and be more competitive. So important measure of labour performance. Um, and uh, one that you need to ensure you know how to measure.